Each year, a new crop of talented athletes leave the realm of college football to embark on a journey to reach the pinnacle of their athletic careers, a place in the NFL. Across the country, elite training facilities open their doors to these select athletes with one goal in mind, to prepare them for the NFL Combine and Pro Day. Just outside the busy streets of Chi-Town and the shores of Lake Michigan sits EFT Sports Performance. Here, Florida wide receiver Demarcus Robinson works to refine his raw talent and blow scouts away in Indianapolis. His attitude is great. Uh, he wants to work hard. You can tell he's hungry. He's hungry to get better. He's hungry to learn. Uh, he really has the right attitude, uh, I think, to move forward to the next level. The next step is to make sure that work ethic's properly developed. And so far, he's really displayed a great work ethic and a desire to just get out there and give it 100%. And that's what's going to make him a great athlete long term. Most of it came natural, but then again, I also had to work at it. So my work ethic is pretty good. I also like to um, do a lot of stuff off the, off the field also. Again, he just has never had the ability or the time to put this much energy into his body. It's always been football or school or some combination of them both, that's the cool thing about being a pro is you now have the time and energy to do that. Just work on your body. That is your job at this point. My strength is my speed. I'm building on my strength right now. And I'm just trying to get stronger right now and get faster and build more endurance in myself. Out west in sunny California, just north of Los Angeles, is proactive in Westlake Village. Among the many talented athletes training here are USC linebacker Sua Cravens and UCLA defensive tackle Kenny Clark. It's a little different from college just because we pump it heavyweight but not, not as much as we were in college and we're still getting the same results and uh, it's kind of faster too so it's crazy to see like all the things that we're doing out here. He doesn't look like he's 323 pounds. He's, he runs fast, he's big, um, and he's, he's pretty agile and pretty explosive. Sue is an interesting individual. He's a great guy. He works his ass off. He puts in a lot of time. He puts in a lot of work. He's a gamer. You can tell. When he shows up, you know, he puts on the game face and he goes. Uh, lifting every day and running every day, it's, it's different. You know? you know, I'm used to going to class and getting a break from the football life and just being a normal student. But now it's football 24-7 and um, it's different for me, but I love it. An hour south of Westlake Village, above the city skyline of Santa Ana, is the rooftop facility of Proactive in Orange County. Here, Baylor wide receiver Corey Coleman, Oklahoma wide receiver Sterling Shepard, and Utah linebacker Kyle Fackrell train for one of the most important days of their lives. The importance of it is huge. It's the biggest interview they'll ever have in their life, and it can change a lot of things for them. So. We want them prepared and we want them to have the confidence that they did everything they could to, to peak at the right time. I mean, they've, they've got us doing everything, you know, they're preparing us really well. Obviously the 40 is a big one, the pro speed agility is, is a big one. Um, so just kind of getting the technique down and then obviously they're strengthening us so that we can do it faster. And it's the best of the best, you know, not everyone can wake up and go upstairs or go up the elevator and be at their training facility. So. You know, everything's close together. We'd work out upstairs. They proactive, you know, training staff do a great job getting our body right, eating head, he healthy, just doing everything um, they can to make us be at our best. Just a stone's throw away in Los Angeles County, we find Exos LA. Under the tented shade of an outdoor weight room, Louisville defensive lineman Sheldon Rankins, Mississippi defensive end Robert Camdiche, and USC defensive tackle Delvin Simmons press, pull, and prepare their bodies to dominate the combine. Well, the training we're doing right now is different than anything they've ever done before because we're trying to fit in an entire off-season of adaptation, of training, an entire off-season program, basically into six or seven weeks. It's just, you know, coming out every day at your work and, uh, you know, just like them days that you don't want to come, you just got to get geared up to come out and get it done, you know, because it's, it's grind time now. It may be slow at times because you're working on specific training and drills for the combine, so you have to be able to, to take it mentally one drill at a time and one day at a time because these days do get long sometimes. We're here from 8 a.m. to 3.30, so just really mentally prepared and just you know, buying into the work. It was like a brotherhood, you know, people don't have egos, you know, everybody's really on the same page and they just want people to go forward. You know, everybody wants to see people do better. So it's not only competition to say I'm better than you, it's competition to push each other. It's almost like a, a joint energy that we create and and hope to catapult us and 
just make us go up higher, you know what I mean? Further south in Carlsbad, California is Exos San Diego, home this year to Oregon defensive end DeForest Buckner, Michigan State offensive tackle Jack Conklin, and Ohio State wide receiver Jalen Marshall. You know, we all came from different schools, different places, different backgrounds, but we we're all on the same mission to get to the same place. All these young men have been playing football for the most part since they were kids. They've all had uh, the same dreams and the same admirations. What they have in common is the goal to be successful and to become an NFL player. Uh, we all understand how, how hard it takes uh, to get here. And, uh, you know, as of right now, uh, we come together, and, you know, from all different schools, rival schools, all that, and you know, just working together for one goal, to get drafted. It's a, it's a weird feeling, you know, be just training for like just one day. And, um, you know, it, that, that one day can determine a lot of things. You know, it can help you in the draft and it can hurt you. So, you know, I'm, I'm working every day to get better. Far away from the warmth and sun of California, along the shores of New Jersey, is test performance. This is where you will find Alabama cornerback Cyrus Jones, Michigan linebacker Joe Bolden, and Marshall tackle Sebastian Johansson. You know, there's no short skirts or bikinis in New Jersey in January and February. So if you are looking to come and focus and get your mind absolutely prepared for, you know, what's about to be the most intense training experience you've ever had, um, you know, I, I don't think there's, there's any better place. It's definitely a humbling experience just to know that uh, my hard work is, is, is going to pay off soon and um, just to keep my head down and keep working and uh, let the chips fall where they may when the draft comes. Everything I've done up to this point in my life and my my career playing football has been to play the football game, like, to play the game. And I've never had to run a certain time or bench press certain reps or jump a certain height or distance in order to get an opportunity to play football. Each athlete excels at the game of football in their own way. But perhaps the most talked about athlete at test performance this year is professional bodybuilder turned NFL hopeful and cousin of widely talented New York Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. Teron Beckham. We're impressed with us with his athleticism. A lot of guys that you know are body bodybuilders, fitness models, those types of guys, they don't have the same athleticism. But I mean, he's played football for 10 years. You know, you don't see this. I mean, the stars have aligned for this kid, and you know, he's obviously a special, a special athlete. It's just like someone finally seeing their dreams starting to fall into place. You know. I've, everybody knows, you know, I've been training for a very long time on my own without any guidance. And um, to finally get some professional help and all these contacts with, with NFL scouts and, and having the chance to be in front of NFL scouts. And I've always felt that it would happen and that now I see that it's, it's happening, that it's just like, you know, you just want to sit at home, eat, you want to lay in bed and think about it, you know, you just want to cry about it because it's like, it's like, wow, you know what I'm saying? I've, I've been waiting for this for a long time. I've been waiting to prove myself for a long time. I can't let something that's right here, the key is right here in front of me. I just have to grab it, open the door, and show myself. Coming up on the next episode of Path to the Pros. The 40s, that's the show at the Combine, so that's what we really need to spend a lot of our focus on.